And let's go. They're calling me a god. Had to do some lyrics for the move in vlog. So I've had the home studio since we moved into our little back house. And, uh, you know, it, it's great. And I've done a lot of great things there. I recorded contents under pressure there, hundreds of live streams there, filmed all the Amigo bars there. So, you know, that's a really magical space too, but it's right in the middle of our house. It started to reach a point where it was like, hey man, we probably need to move all of this rapping out of the house. <laughs> All right, so first we're gonna hit up Best Buy and uh, get some ethernet cables, very exciting stuff. Getting ready for the internet guy to come tomorrow. And then we're gonna hit up the new studio, do some measurements, you know, try to visualize in our minds how we wanna set it up. I really wanna create a dope vibe. I want it to be like a sanctuary where like I feel really good being in there working, but also I feel really excited to invite people over to collaborate. When we moved into the house, I was pretty broke, like, it was a very much like, you know, I, I always say one of my favorite sayings is leap and the net will appear. Moving into the house was like a prime example of leap and the net will appear. It wasn't responsible, but I was like, fuck it. This is gonna light the fire under my ass. This is what's gonna, you know, give me the push I need. And honestly, I think you have to do that sometimes. I mean, obviously be responsible and like, don't, you know, I mean, you know, do it in, in a way that's reasonably safe, I guess. But for me, it's like things don't start moving until you start moving them, you know? Almost got hit by that car. <laughs> Do it for the views, bro. All right, so just got the ethernet cables from Best Buy. I have this uh, rug mat here that I ordered. The rug has still not arrived, <laughs> but we do have the mat. So uh, we're going inside the studio. We're gonna lay this out so we have an idea of how much space it'll take up. Uh, we're going to get our tape measurer on and uh, measure out the size of the space, see what's gonna fit in there, try to visualize what we want the space to be and, uh, and take it from there. All right, we're here. New studio. Oh, close the door. It's gonna all, all the air gets sucked out. Silence. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, so we have the rug mat, uh, placeholder for the rug. The actual rug is gonna be a lot prettier than this, but this will do. And uh, we have our Ethernet cables. Probably don't need these today, but uh, we're gonna unwrap this guy. Lay it flat, see how much space it's gonna take up. See, uh, you know, what we can imagine, uh, where we'll put some furniture. I wanna have, ideally, like a lounge area here in this back corner. So, uh, you know, we're gonna see what happens. Let's get it popping. Twelve feet. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, because it's yeah. a fucking twelve. Not by twelve. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think that's all we can really get, cause like until we get. There's a bit more we can think about. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> Couch, chair or two, maybe one to start. Coffee table. And it's hard to know how far out the desk comes, but I'm just like oh. maybe that my drums can be here. Yeah. And then. There's just keyboards, record, here. Uh -huh. What? Uh, I just think it's funny that you can't say the word drum without doing yeah. the act of drumming. <laughs> like, I've never seen him do it once to just say, I'm a drummer without going, I'm a drummer. Like, every <laughs> um, yeah, and then that. Where do you see the plants going? I, I think probably just like. Tall plant. Tall plant, and I guess it's probably too much to have like a tall plant in one of these corners, or what do you no, think? No, I don't think so. But double corners would be too double much. Corner. Uh, I don't, not necessarily. I think we should go to the vintage store. Let's go to the vintage store. See what they have, and then just assess from there. We Great. have to go to Ikea anyway for the plants, so if they have one we like, we get it. If not, then we go somewhere else. It's a plan! <laughs> 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 
that's so weird. Yeah. All right, fuck it, let's go. Let's fucking do it. No. We got a parking ticket, y'all. That sucks. Oh, good thing we couldn't buy the shelves. We're at IKEA. We're coming for some some fake plants and uh, maybe some shelves. We'll have to see. Oh, that's my favorite place on earth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we came for plants. I'm gonna be honest with you, they all look extremely fake. But you might think it was a failure, not so. We got a trash can, very necessary thing to have in any recording studio. We're not gonna be making a lot of trash in my studio, I'll have you know, but uh, we will have a place to dispense of garbage when necessary. No, man, I had no idea, honestly. Because even though I instantly saw that it was gonna be great content, I still thought it would probably be kind of like a gimmick, you know, quirky little thing we do maybe once or twice, you know, every once in a while. I didn't think it would be a weekly series and I didn't think it would be the biggest series that I have on all of YouTube. Yeah, I was blown away. And I was really blown away too by the capacity to have a real emotional impact. That part surprised me. I thought it was just gonna be funny and weird. Uh, people in masks and shit like that. And it does have that, but then it also has like Amigo Bars 18, you know, the guy who lost his fiance and the kids from Morocco who said like, you know, your human rights are our dreams and, and cool shit like that, where it's like, wow, you know, you forget that those are actual human beings, you know, like on the other side of the Amigo thing sometimes. And so those were all cool reminders that like, wow, we're all just people out here trying to make it. And so that part really surprised me. And I think that's the reason the series has had the longevity that it's had is that like, especially during quarantine, it was so much harder to have those real human connections. And here we were finding a, a workaround to still have face-to-face -face connections with strangers. We're still finding a way to do that. And uh, yeah, it was really dope, man. I don't know if I get full like phone in here and I'm oh, just let's thinking- let's try. Hello. Hey. All right, it seems fine. Oh, it works. I want him to be able to not be tied to his phone. Like I want to have one of those Oh, you want a rotary? <laughs> yeah, a rotary yeah, phone. And so when you call the studio, I like have my feet up on the desk with a cigar and I'm just like. <laughs> He's becoming a whole new character Hello? In, this, in this environment. Studio Harry. Yeah. Studio Harry is a, is a whole new Studio character. Harry, talk to me. No, fuck no, you can't bring Sally. No, no, tell her I said so. I don't know, I can't do this character. Right? No, no pressure. I was just wondering if you had an ETA, roughly, of when someone was coming through, just because we uh, we have a U-Haul that we want to load up. Next 30 minutes? Yeah, no problem. Great, man. Does anybody, do you want like an iced coffee? Anybody? Should we just like- You at home? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, hello. Gray van, they're rolling up. Are you from Sunbeam? No. Sorry, man. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> Wrong gray van. <laughs> the guy literally stopped and I walked up and he was like, what, man? I was like, are you from Sunbeam? He was like, no. I was like, oh, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Yo, man, can I do a quick freestyle for you? Yeah. How you doing? Thank you guys so much, man. Appreciate it. All right, so uh, today, big day, big day. Um, we picked up the U-Haul truck, went to the studio, got the internet set up. The internet is on and popping. Um, we got Big Blue, our new couch. And so uh, we're refueled, we're ready to go. We're headed back to the crib right now where the U-Haul is stashed. I got fucking a house full of boxes of gear and all types of things. And, and uh, I guess we're just gonna throw it all in the U-Haul, head back to the studio and hopefully take things out of boxes and start building shit, man. I'm excited to finally see all this gear. We're, we're in a U-Haul with basically my whole life. <laughs> uh, pretty much all the tools that I use to uh, create and make videos and do live streams and 
make beats and record songs and anything else I do creatively is right back there behind me. So I'm trying my hardest to not hit any large bumps or have to slam on the brakes. I don't know what's in a lot of these boxes, so I could just start well, opening just things. Open them. Yeah. And just see what happens. Sustain pedal. Okay. Helps you sustain um, your notes. If your note was going to be short, press the pedal, now it's long. All right, and I can sustain this conversational topic for way too long, as is clearly apparent by this talking point. All other equipment depicted in association with the contained product is properly of the respective owner and is not affiliated, endorsed, or sponsored by TMP Inc. All rights reserved. <laughs> Here's the part where they live up to their name. Uplift. Shout out to Uplift Desk. Oh yeah. Oh shit. See those numbers? That's where we're at, y'all. When the mouse, the mouse and keyboard will add like. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're okay though. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try pressing M, memory. There we go. So now, if I go up to some random arbitrary place, well, actually, let's stand. I had the same desk in my home studio, but I never set it up with with logical cable management so that I could like safely and confidently stand. So my goal for the new studio is to be able to actually utilize it as a standing desk. If I'm here, cool, standing up. Then in theory, if I press one. Oh my God. It's beautiful. Shout out to Uplift Desk. We love you. Coming together, got the keyboard set up. Opened a bunch of boxes, man. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check one, two. Let's go. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, known for the improvised rapping. Never slacking, I'm about to make it happen. Uh. I got everyone relaxing. Open up my mind so I can squeeze the facts in. Yeah, I be coming for the truth. Matt getting loose anytime he's in the booth. Uh, about to leave you energized. Nothing new about it, cause I've always been this wise. Yeah, I be doing it different from all the rest. Every make you know I'm steady rapping for the West. I be rhyming off the topics that y'all suggest. Anytime I'm spitting, I'ma put you to the test. And I'm about to make it known. Anytime I'm rapping, I be staying in my zone. Never once have I been compared to a fucking clone. Every Mac I eat your dome like a scone. I'm the real one. Uh, tell me how you feel, son. Uh, and you know I got a pill, son. Uh, and you know we all up in the house I got the studio and the blue couch And the fake plant all up in the corner Cause we all up in the basement These other rappers staying adjacent I'm the illest off the tip, better face it I'm about to leave them all up in amazement uh, I got the rhythm, it's embedded in my motherfucking veins When I'm doing all these lyrics off the brain Matter of fact, I got the fame that I plan to maintain Cause every Mac I'm out of making these gains I'm never stopping Rappers really got no option Take a corny rapper, put him in a coffin What's the problem? I'ma bury y'all six feet When I'm getting loose on the sick beat Dig me uh, I've been thinking of it since the 60s Before I was born, so Check the way I perform, I'm trying to warn, you better pay attention. Matt coming through with the lyrics they gon' mention. Uh, even after I'm gone. Check the way that we master these songs, yeah. We ain't never slipping at all. Microphones, beats, I know that I'm ripping them all. So get involved with the way I lay you down. I don't, I play you around. I'm here for all my peeps. I'm going with deep. It's Mac, I'm never cheap. And all these rappers stepping up to me, they sound a hella weak. So let me show them. I'm the only rapper who be flowing in this way right here. I don't really come through the play right here. Every Mac I'm rapping all day right here. Let's go. They're calling me a guard. Had to do some lyrics for the move in vlog. H Mac fucking up the track like an info. I keep it simple. Live on the instrumental. Wow. <laughs> Let's go.